This is Juliana Monique Ardela Cruz from Grade 8, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, answering the question, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte wants the U.S. troops or soldiers out of Mindanao. How will this affect our international relation towards the United States of America? President Duterte wanting the U.S. soldiers out of Mindanao will surely cause good if the Americans open their minds for the reason of our president on why he wants the U.S. troops out of Mindanao. President Duterte wants the Americans to leave Mindanao because he is worried that the U.S. troops might be kidnapped by Abu Sayyaps to get ransom. In fact, President Duterte mentioned in his speech in an oath-taking ceremony for new officials that he doesn't want a rift with America. He also mentioned that the Abu Sayyaps will surely kill Americans and if not, Americans will be taken as kidnaps. President Duterte only wants the safeness of the American soldiers in Mindanao. The United States' relationship with Philippines has been robust, dynamic, and strategic. This relationship is nurtured by a shared history and adherence to common values, especially a commitment to freedom, democracy, and market economy. U.S. assistance to the Philippines fosters broad-based economic growth, which improves the health and education of Filipinos, promotes peace and security, advances democratic values, good governance, and human rights, and strengthen regional and global partnerships. The United States is also one of the largest foreign investors in the Philippines and is the Philippines' third largest trading partner. The Philippines has been among the largest beneficiaries of the U.S. generalized system of preferences program for developing countries. The United States has had a Peace Corps program in the Philippines for over 50 years. The United States Agency for International Development or USAID programs in conflict-affected areas of Mindanao aim to strengthen the foundation for peace and instability in the area. If the U.S. misinterprets President Duterte's statement regarding the stay of their troop in Mindanao and take it negatively, this might hinder our relationship with them in many aspects, which will be a great loss for our nation. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Juliana Monique Ardenacruz from Grade 8, Our Lady of Mount Carmel.